Welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by graphicdesignertips.com. What I want to speak about in this tutorial uh, is um, taking an element and determining or changing the fill and the stroke uh, on that element. So um, on our toolbar on the left over here, you're going to uh, notice these tools over here that I'm circling, uh, those are the fill and stroke tools. So the first thing I want to show you is the top, this box on the top left is the fill color and this box on the bottom right is the stroke color. Um, if we click this default fill and stroke, it's going to make, and you can see the little icon, it's a, it's a white box on top of a black outline stroke. If we click that, you know, say we, let's draw a box first, okay, on the screen, and we're going to check this little default. It's going to make a box with a white fill and a black stroke, all right? Um, that black is 100% black and that white is obviously, you know, it's all white. So we're going to get rid of that box real quick. And like I said, the top left box is a fill, the bottom right box is a stroke. Uh, to toggle between the two, you hit the letter X. Uh, so like s say I have a box and I want to put yellow in it. I'm going to, instead of coming all the way over here and clicking, um, you can either click the box, double click it and select a color say I select this blue and I hit OK, it's going to add it into there. Um, I can also come to the swatches and maybe drag a yellow and add it right there. It's going to replace the blue. Uh, or um, you can always uh, use the eyedropper to sample a color. So, But in this tutorial, I want to show you two things, um, well, a couple things. Uh, besides that, uh, these are going to swap the colors. So it's going to take the stroke and switch it with the fill color. Um, this first box is a gradient. It's a gradient of blue, dark blue to light blue. Now, gradients cannot be put on strokes unless the strokes are outlined. Um, the stroke is outlined, which then creates a shape of a stroke. I don't know if that confuses you. What I mean is uh, a stroke is basically one continuous line around a box. Uh, it's not a shape, it's an, it's an outline. So you cannot put a gradient on an outline but you can actually put a gradient on an outline after you turn it into a, uh, uh, you outline the stroke. So um, if you see right here, uh, say I, I put a stroke of black on here. Actually, not gonna see that. Um, bah, 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 stroke of green. And I'm gonna make this stroke a little bit thicker so you can actually see it. Right with the weight. Okay, so now you have this blue box with this green stroke, and I'm actually going to put the same green stroke. Okay, that's that. Again, I can just drag it in uh, on this red box, and the stroke was seven points, so I'm going to put this up to seven points. Okay, so both of these boxes have the same uh, strokes. Now on this blue box, if I try to switch these, you're going to notice when I click this, nothing happens. It's not going to switch the two colors. But if I come over here to the red box and I try to switch these, watch what happens. It switches the fill and the stroke. So now the red is the stroke and the green is the inside. And let's do that again and get back to where we were. The reason we cannot do it on this left box is because there is a gradient inside of the box. Now, we would be able to do this if we outline the stroke. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Uh, we're going to go to Object while well, we have the item selected. And we're going to go to... Uh, path and we're going to go to outline stroke okay what that did is if I zoom in and I click on this it actually turned that stroke into a shape you see that right now it's an actual shape where we can grab these points if we wanted to and alter this shape so I'm going to undo that by hitting command Z and now this is actually this shape is on its own right now so what you would have to do is to get that blue gradient in there is you'd have to get the eyedropper tool and you have to select this gradient All right now you can see that this box and actually this is a pretty cool effect um, now the box gradient it, or the frame around it is gradated and in some areas it kind of blends like there's a dark area over here it blends with a dark area but then it gets light and it kind of frames it and makes it gives it some character so um, 
Fill stroke, uh, like I said, you cannot put a gradient in a stroke. You have to outline the stroke first. And you know, the solid colors, you can flip back and forth like that. And that's my quick tutorial on uh, the fill and stroke. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, again, visit graphicdesignertips.com. Uh, and, and have a great day, guys. Peace.